It's pretty much inevitable that one big game at this summer's World Cup will hinge on a penalty kick. Whether it occurs during regulation, when a team commits a foul in its own area, or as part of a penalty shootout in the knockout round, the fate of one nation will be decided by one player and their ability to score on a free shot from 12 yards into a net protected only by the opposing goalkeeper. So, how hard can it be? We had New York Red Bull striker Bradley Wright Phillips, the leading scorer in Major League Soccer, give us some tips on how to take the perfect penalty. To get a sense of just how tough it is to score a penalty, we were given a challenge. To take three penalties against Red Bull's goalkeeper Luis Robles and see if we could score. Uh, Bradley, what's the first thing that you that you think about when, when, you're taking, when you're about to take a penalty? What's the first thing that goes through your mind? When you first come up to the ball, you know, grab it, usually someone will give it to you, you grab it and you know you're cornered. Once you do that, put your head down, hit it with power, and hope for the best. You've taken three penalties this season. Do you, you, you try and mix it up, which side you put it? Yeah, you, you have to. Okay. Because of the technology nowadays, they, right. you know, people know where you're going to go, the keepers are even better, so right. it's, it's a lot harder. Okay, so if you're, if you're advising me, um, right-footed, yeah. my best chance to score, which, which way should I be looking to put it against? against Normally, uh, I would go keepers right. I like that corner because I feel, you know, the ball, if you get the right power on it, I feel like the ball's always going away from okay. the keeper. And are you, are you aiming? What are you aiming for? Are you aiming for the the the, po the side netting, yeah. the post, it just wanna, inside the post? You aim for side netting. Maybe it's just a mental thing for me. I feel like with the run up, I think I generate power, and I think that's that's what beats the keeper. Right. It's either you're a penalty taker that you trick the keeper, you stutter, or power. Okay. And I like I I bank on power. What you're most scared of is like missing the goal exactly, completely. Exactly, you know, that, That's a disaster. You're thinking of your friend saying stuff. Exactly. You can't think, if you think like that, you're gonna, that's when you'll miss. With Bradley's advice on board, it was time to discuss strategy. Left, right, or down the middle. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, you might be better. Which, which side do you feel more confident in? Because we're not the same, you know what I mean? We're not the same person. No, I know, but I feel, might, like, I feel like you, that, you've taught me on, on okay. the left, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. Come on, let's go, we can do this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it for the... For the, for, for the three for lines. <laughs> for the three lines. All right. It's my first attempt. I'm going to put it to the left hand side, and I'm certain I'm going to score. Well, almost certain. Pretty sure, at least. In fact, now I think about it, that goal looks awfully small, and the keeper looks awfully big, and. Oh, oh, no power. <laughs> Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! This time, I'm yeah, going to put it low to the right, to and hopefully penalty. sneak one past him. All right, here we go. Oh, you oh. Need... <laughs> By now it's become pretty obvious that there's one major problem with these penalties. They're just not fast enough. Even if I put it in the corner, Luis has time to check his watch before he dives and still get to the ball. So with Bradley's advice in mind, ahead of my last attempt, I decided to bank on power. Head down, hit it as hard as I can, and hope that I can find a way to score. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sights him out! Oh, that was beautiful. Just went for the corner. Yeah. So that's it. That's how you score a penalty. Turns out it's pretty easy.